So here is lunch. Uh, I've got uh, one white bread chaffle under here. It's pecan flour. And my uh, <clears throat> my meat mixture, which is chorizo, sweet Italian sausage with uh, cumin, chili powder, rotel, and green chilies. And then I just topped it with the uh, chihuahua cheese, some of the uh, salsa verde, and ripe olives. I was going to put avocado in it, but I kind of want to save that. I like to save that for my tuna. And then I've got the other chaffle with uh, the sugar-free apricot preserves. And that is lunch. Here is dinner. It is two of the breakfast chops that I fixed yesterday with some green beans and Kerrygold. And that is going to do it for the meals today. Hey there, Keto Marnie. Uh, yesterday I didn't upload uh, and I didn't even do a, an intro yesterday morning I just uh, videoed my food that was that was all I did uh, I spent the day uh, crocheting with great frustration <laughs> uh, so tonight uh, when I upload at the end of this video I'm going to show my horrible horrible uh finished crochet project that i hate absolutely hate and the other one that is pretty much finished that i absolutely hate <laughs> but it was my first time it was the poncho that i was wearing in the other the night before in that video uh that turned out horrible too but it was my first one <laughs> so that's it for now. Um, I haven't had a, a meal yet. I've just eaten some pork rinds. And I made some uh, of the uh, sweet treats with the protein puffs, the little protein puffs that I got. Uh, those will be ready maybe in an hour or so. I'll probably end up forgetting about them until tonight, which would be a good thing. Uh, i basically just been <laughs> drinking coffee all day. So, and it's it's raining, it's stormy here today, so, uh, which means there's going to be water down here in the basement, and I've already gotten, I, I haven't gotten that much up yet. We use a rug doctor to get the water up, and I haven't even gotten half a bucket yet, but it is supposed to rain some more, so I would imagine there will be more water. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, so I'm going to be combining yesterday's video with today so it'll be one big video uh so that's it for now and i will check back in later have a great day okay so i've been crocheting for 45 years at least and i still feel like an amateur especially when <laughs> i do horrible projects <laughs> so this project i was going to do for the season of the granny and it's going to just be mine. My intention was that it was going to be for somebody for Christmas, but that is not going to happen because I absolutely hate it. Uh, I enjoyed making the squares. I didn't enjoy joining the squares. Ordinarily, I don't mind that. I should have used a different method. I decided to do a lacy joined. And the problem I have with a lacy join is weaving in ends and finding a thick enough spots in the uh, the join to weave the ends in and without making it seem bulky or or lumpy or knotty <laughs> well I got a project that is just full of lumps and bumps and knots and from doing the lacy join and I hate it there's nothing soft about it, and it doesn't help that I use the uh, Karen One Pound yarn because it's not exactly the softest. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you my project. So this is my one of my projects for the season of the granny. Uh, the other one I already showed, I guess about a month ago. But I I like the way this looks. Don't get me wrong, I do like the way it looks. But I can't stand the way it feels. It is so, so full of lumps and bumps. And just from trying to weave in ends into these little uh, 
chains. They're all chain three. And it's it's so hard to to find a spot that's thick enough to weave in the ends. I don't know. I've done this join method before and I liked it and I don't know what is different now. But then I decided to do the three chain for the border also. I was going to make a bigger border and I was going to make a more colorful border but then I decided since I hated this so much I'm not going to even waste all my other good yarn to 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 do this. So it's a lap blanket for me. So that is it as far as that. And then the other project that I pretty much finished but I absolutely hate is the poncho that I made. I was trying to tweak it myself and uh, add stuff to it, which would have been fine had I left the sizing alone. I thought for sure, because uh, I got it from the pattern from Crystal at Bag -A Day Crochet, and she said that the, the sizing probably doesn't need change, so to leave the sizing alone. <laughs> but, but in my mind, I'm okay, it says one size fits most, but... I'm larger, <laughs> so I assumed I'm going to need a larger size. I should have just just left it alone and gone with the size that she was doing in the tutorial and just made it longer. Um, it actually ends up <laughs> being like the size of a tent on me. Oh my gosh. And then I decided to add... Um, like a cowl collar, which was fine. That that turned out good. I liked that. So I'm going to spread this out so that you can see. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> it looks short, but really it's not. It, it hangs down past my belly. And then I didn't think about the fact that this is supposed to be a puff stitch project. Puff stitches take up a lot of yarn. And I was running out of colors. Now, there is no way in the world that I am going to be able to get in all the yarn that I need and still do puff stitches. So a lot of it I ended up not puff stitching <laughs> just so that I could make my yarn go farther. And then the colors just don't, I mean, well, I, I guess the colors go okay together. And I didn't mean to put the black in there, but like I said, I was afraid of running out of colors and... Then I put the sleeves on there. That I rolled down to uh, be a, you know, like a cowl. And I guess the, the colors go together okay. Especially these colors right here. This uh, aqua color and then this variegated and the dark purple. And I guess even this goes too. I mean, all the colors go. But then <laughs> I was so afraid of running out of colors that I used a regular uh, royal blue to seam up the sides which uh, was my choice to seam up the sides. It, that wasn't part of the pattern. But I wanted something that was closed and had sleeves. Uh, so <laughs> that's why this, this royal blue is stuck in there. So I'm going to now attempt to make a regular sweater that actually fits me, I hope. I'm going to attempt it. So anyway, that is it for my horrible, horrible crochet projects that I absolutely hate. Until next time, see you later. Here is my dinner. Just some the uh, breakfast chops and some green beans. And that is it for now. Well, here is my sweet treat. So I got this recipe, and I made this uh, last week or the week before, uh, Steve at Series Keto. So this is the uh, crunch bar, crackle bar, uh, whatever you want to call it, with the protein puffs. And uh, so last time I put them in a uh, in rectangular, smaller rectangular uh, silicone molds. And this time I did the individual cupcake molds. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand without tearing it apart. <laughs> it, I mean, it pretty much pops right out. 
Hold on. <laughs> there it is. Turned out really, really good. And I put some skinny syrup in it. I always uh, like to make mine a little bit sweeter. So these are really good. I made 12 of them. Hey there. I am closing the two days out. <laughs> this is from yesterday also. So uh, I'm going to be just doing some crocheting for a while tonight. Uh, maybe catch up on a show or two. Actually, I need to catch up on videos, seriously. So I might do that instead. I, I need to catch up on some shows. My DVR is just, uh, it's getting like 95% full and I just haven't watched anything on it because I'm always watching videos. So uh, that's it for now. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. And that's going to do it. So I will see you tomorrow.